Heritage Community Foundation. Today's event and the rest of the summer zoo program, uh, the events that we're having, are brought to you by the Helen Mead Fund. Helen actually uh, lived in Wisconsin Rapids, raised her family here. She loved animals. She loved the zoo. She has moved, but she has a fund that is helping to pay for these programs every summer. So if you stop in the back uh, after the show, you will find flyers that have our two other events. We have one in July, we have one in August. So make sure you take that. We also have some coloring sheets that you can take with you. And we are so happy to have the Minnesota Zoo Mobile here. Donnie tells me that he was here when we first opened Helen Zoo House, which was almost 10 years ago.
Fertilizer is a big, long scientific word that means food for the trees. So without these guys and other little guys that just like them, we wouldn't have any of the cool stuff that we get from trees. Paper, wood, fruits, vegetables, shade. We also get medicine. We also get oxygen. And we get one more thing from trees that some people think is more important than all of that stuff. Some people think it's more important than medicine. Some people think it's more important than oxygen. We get chocolate. <coughs> Without these guys and other little guys just like them, we wouldn't have any of the cool Snicker bars, Butterfinger bars. We wouldn't have any of the Kit Kats. Are these guys pretty important? Very important. Now what we're gonna need is two students up here to help us out. Can't be afraid to help us out. Can't be afraid to do something a little bit silly. Right there in the blue, ah, gray black shirt. That's the one I need, and right there in the pink, come on. Now what's your name? Sophie. Sophie, and what's your name? Jack. Jack, come stand right here. Sophie, stand right there. Can I have you look at all your friends up there? Give them a big smile. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let you guys all, we're gonna let you two have a chance to pull over my cockroaches. Is that all right? I'm gonna let you hold one of the cockroaches. Drew, you remember like to eat? Does he like to eat little boys in blue shirts? Does he like to eat little girls in pink shirts? What does he like to eat? Fruits and vegetables. As long as your fingers don't look like apples and bananas, you're perfectly safe. Are you good? And so, what I want you to do first is I want you to make a little butthole. I want you to cup your hands into a little bowl, just like that. You make your little butthole, put your hands together. I'm gonna put the little girl right in your hand. Don't drop her. Are you all right?
ton, blue from freezies, or from popsicles. You got it, blue, for a different reason. Do you want to put them one more time? Do you want to put them one more time? Excellent. Give my two helpers up here a big round of applause. They did a great job. Right back there. Excellent. Now this guy is called a blue-tongued skink. He's not a skink. Or he's not a skink.
gonna need something like this for my next animal. Now, Jaden, we're gonna put this right on your hand, right here. All right. What is that? There you go. Now, Kaden, what we're gonna bring out is an animal that has sharp claws. Now, if an animal has sharp claws and trying to scratch you, would this protect you? I hope so. Animal we're gonna bring out has a very sharp mouth. Now, if an animal had a sharp mouth and it tried to bite, would this protect you? I hope so too. <laughs> now, animal that we're gonna bring out. Do you think you know what we're bringing out? What kind of animal do you think we're gonna bring out? A cat, like a tiger. Do you think this would protect you from a tiger? I don't think so. Let me give you some hints, Kaden. Now, animal we're gonna bring out has very sharp claws. This is an animal that flies. It doesn't fly during the daytime. 
chinchilla. They come from South America, and they're one of the softest animals in the whole world. If you look at your arm, look at your neighbor's head, we have one hair coming out of each little hole in our skin. These guys have 60 hairs. Six zero hairs come out of each of the holes in their skin, which makes them super duper soft and gives them a very warm fur coat. Now, they look like a few different other animals. If you look at their face, they have a cute little mousy face. These animals, they are related to mice, to rats, to beavers, to animals just like that. They have a long squirrel like tail that they use for balance so that they can uh, turn really sharp when they're trying to get away from things. They have big, huge feet, a lot like a bunny's feet. And those huge feet are great at hopping. Hopping is a great way to get away. If something's chasing you, you can hop left, you can hop right, you can hop forward, you can hop backwards, you can hop any way that you need to to be able to get away from anything that is chasing you. Now, chinchillas like to eat the same type of food that our rabbit would like to eat. So they like to eat fruits, they like to eat vegetables. This one, its name is Snowball, and Snowball loves to eat apples. Now, I'm gonna need some people to come up here and help us out. Raise your hand if you wanna come up and help us out. Let's see. In the blue shirt, you want to help me out? You can bring the little one up. You guys want to come up here? No, you guys want to stay there? Excellent. Let's get right here in the pink. Let's get you two, both of you. Yeah, you guys can both come up. And let's get young lady in the very far back. Excellent. Perfect. In the purple shirt, you want to come up here too? Excellent. Good deal. Do you want to come up too? Did you want to come up too? Did you want to come up to? Yeah. You can if you'd like to. You can stay there if you want to. There you go. Now, what's your name? What's your name, buddy? Keegan. What's your name? And? Kelsey. Excellent. What we're going to do first is you guys are going to pat him right on the back. Tell me how you feel. Is hard or soft? Super duper soft. Really soft. What do you think? Is it hard or soft? Hard? Pat again. Is it soft? hard like a rock or soft like a pillow? Soft like a pillow. <laughs> very, very soft. This is one of the softest animals in the whole world. Now, there are a few other animals that are softer than these guys. Uh, sea otters. Otters that will swim in the Arctic waters have softer fur than that. Other than that, these guys are one of the softest things in the whole world. Now, we're going to do a science experiment. You guys want to help me with the science experiment? You want to help me with the science experiment? Excellent. What we're going to do first is when it's your turn, I want you guys to close your eyes and hold up one finger. When you think you're touching the chinchilla, I want you to say stop. All right? Do you know what we're going to do? Excellent. Now, do you think you know you're going to touch the chinchilla or no? Do you think you'll get it right away as soon as you touch it with them? Should we see? We're going to start right with you, okay? Hold up one finger. Close your eyes. And when you think you're touching it, I want you to say stop. Look at your finger. It was that far in. <laughs> do you think you can do better? Of course you think you can. Hold up one finger. What do you think you're going to touch it? What are you going to say? Okay. Look. Your finger was that far in. <laughs> Keegan, do you think you can do better than them? Of course you do. Hold up one finger. What do you think you're touching? What are you going to shout out? What are you going to say really, really loud? When you're petting him, what are you going to say? you got to say stop. Right? When you think you're touching him, I want you to say stop really loud. You got it? Close your eyes. When you think you're touching him, I want you to say stop. Are you touching him yet? Your finger was almost all the way in. <laughs> now, do you think you can do better? We'll see. Hold on one finger. When you think you're touching him, I want you to say stop. Are you touching him yet? Are you sure? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Your finger is that far. We got one more right here. We're actually going to turn you over this way so everyone can see. The chinchilla, its fur is so soft, you can't tell you're touching it until you actually touch their fur, which is that far in. You want to pet it one more time? Pet it one more time?
chill a bath up right here, and we're gonna put a chinchilla in there to see if it will take a bath. I need you guys all to be quiet. Now, the chinchilla, it actually does roll around in this volcanic dust. Dust that comes from volcanoes are found all over the Andes Mountains. And these guys then roll around in it. It gets all of the oils, all of the dirt out of their fur. Do you guys think your moms would let you roll around in the dirt to get nice and clean? I don't know if I would have tried that. I would have got yelled at to go take a shower. But these guys, it works very, very well. It does get all that oils, all that dirt out of that super, super fine, super, super soft fur. I'm going to put our nice clean chinchilla. Dusty. <laughs> Back into our box and we have time for one more animal. Do you guys want to see one more? They grab their food right in their mouth, wrap their body very tightly around it, and 
and squeeze until they can't breathe anymore, and then they'll swallow it whole. Out in the wild, they eat mice, rats, birds, eggs. They can even eat something as big as a little monkey or a little lemur. They can swallow anything as wide as the widest part of their body. They can swallow something about that big. Which is a few guys eating a whole watermelon in one bite. And if they eat something that big, they can go two years without eating. Can you guys go two years without eating? I just cried right my belly starts to rumble. But these guys can go super duper long times without eating because they're cold blooded. People, we have to eat so much to keep uh, to keep our bodies at 98.6 degrees. Our snakes, it lets the sun, it lets the rocks, it lets all the other stuff heat and cool its body so that it doesn't have to use as much energy. Now, hold up for just a second. Now, this snake is about six and a half feet long, so it is bigger than me. Weighs almost 20 pounds. Now, snakes are very cool animals. Everyone close your eyes. Open them back up. Snakes can't do that. Their eyes are always open. They sleep with their eyes open. They swim with their eyes open. They do everything with their eyes open. Where's your guys' ears at? One ear, two ears. Snakes don't have any ears at all. They can't hear me. So every time he sits on his tongue, it's like what people would walk by a bakery or by a flower store. <sighs> now, did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Did you guys learn some really cool stuff about animals? Yeah. The first animal we saw were the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Yeah. Next came out that blue tongue stink. We had a great horned owl come out. Does anybody remember what that cute little fuzzy guy was? What was our cute little fuzzy animal? little fuzzy guy. Do you remember? Do you remember what it was called? Chinchilla. Shout it out. It was a chinchilla. Our chinchilla was soft and fuzzy. And then this guy is our Dumeril's boa constrictor. Thank you guys. I had a lot of fun showing you guys my animals. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys uh, had a little bit of fun today. Now make sure we wash our hands if you guys